So I had a discussion with someone today on Reddit about how inverse kinematics is kind of like the intersection of two circles. If you think about this as being the two links of an inverse kinematic arm. So I came across this um, Stack Overflow post asking how to find the points at which two circles intersect. So given the radius of each circle and the xy coordinates of each circle, find the intersection. And I found this answer and this code. Someone said they wrote some JS code. So I copied this function, just intersection of two circles, and it returns the two intersection points into p5.js, and it looks good. Play around with like the radius size, location, and then if you draw the uh, radius like they have in this picture here, then you can get a, where is it? You can get a real time sort of updated inverse kinematic arm like this. Uh, I had to put some limits on things. So if you go too far, the this function doesn't have anything to handle that. So if you go out of range, if your target is out of range, there'll just be no answer. So then, you know, um, I had to find a way to like figure that out. So that's what I'm doing here, just checking for the hand reach and you can find the hand limits. So if you want the arm to be able to like fully bend, you have no low limit or you can make it like 10 or something. So you can't, can't go fully bent. And then you do a high limit as well. So you can only reach so far out. And then this idea can be extended to 3D pretty easily. Same idea. So there you go, 3D inverse kinematics, and there's no trig. This entire function in the math behind it uses zero trigonometry. It's all just um, algebra. It's pretty cool. I didn't spend too long looking at the math because someone had already written a function. So thank you, Jared Updike. That's awesome. And yeah, all the links to this as well as these code examples will be in the description of the video if you're interested. Oh, and I also like did a switch. So the two points represent up arm and down arm configurations for the IK solutions. So you can switch between like an up arm and a down arm, that type of thing. But yeah, all the links will be in the description. So play around with this. If you do something cool with it, let me know. I'd love to see it. And thanks for watching. Bye.